Do you really know Angola? Angola is the 22nd biggest country in the world, 14 and a half times bigger than its former colonizer. The Europeans say they discovered Angola in the 15th century, but since mankind started in Africa, it's safe to say that Angolans discovered their own country, and that afterwards, in the time of slavery, they helped to build countries like Brazil and the United States. In Angola, people speak Portuguese, helping to make it the most spoken language in the Southern Hemisphere and the fifth in the world. Some of the top Portuguese language writers are Angolan. The first black man to perform in the Eurovision Song Contest was Angolan. The top scorer in Portugal's major football league history is an Angolan. The two times Benfica won the Champions League, their captain was an Angolan. The strange thing is, football's not even Angola's favorite sport. That would be basketball. In the last 13 editions of the African Championship, Angola won 11 times. Angola is the fourth biggest economy in Africa and the second biggest oil producer. But according to experts, by 2018, it will be the biggest. The country has other treasures like diamonds, gold, iron, copper, lead, marble, wood, coffee, corn, sisal, tobacco, and fabulous musicians Elias Diekimwezu, Paula Flores, Yola Semedo, Anselmo Ralph, and the brothers Rue and Andre Mingus, just to mention a few. Angola is the homeland of the third hottest music genre in the world and of the second hottest music genre in the world, which would later give birth to the hottest music genre in the world. Kylie Minogue, Jamie Foxx, Mickey Rourke, Samuel L. Jackson and Kristen Stewart are some of the names set to star in the films of Hollywood producer and Angolan citizen Rui Costa Rees. Angola just recently started producing its own serial dramas and one has already been nominated for an Emmy. In the first decade of the 21st century, no economy has grown more than Angola, not even China. Luanda, the capital city of Angola, is said to be the most expensive city on the planet, but it's also one of the most vibrant with some of the finest restaurants, hotels, shops, nightclubs and views in Africa. Beyond Luanda, there is countryside with breathtaking landscapes that tourists from all over the world are now just starting to discover. Angolan Lila Lopez was voted the most beautiful woman in the world in 2011. But you see, when we talk about Angolan women, it's tough to say who's the most beautiful. Weather can get hot in Angola, sure, but have you tried the beer? One of the richest women in Africa is Angolan. Oh, and she's pretty too. 36.8% of Angola's national parliament is composed of female MPs, one of the highest rates in the world. Brazil elected their first female president in 2010. The US might have theirs in the next few years. Angola had a queen by the 17th century. For over 20 years, the Simpsons have always been yellow. Except for one day, the day they announced they were going to be televised in Angola. A few years ago, Europe didn't want Angola's airline company in its skies. Now, the biggest airline companies in the world fly in Angola's skies. Angola hosted the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations, the 2013 Roller Hockey World Cup, three editions of Afrobasket, the Angola Fashion Week, Filda, the International Fair of Luanda, and it's ready to host a whole lot more of world-class events like the PGA Open Golf 2016. 14 years of war of liberation plus 27 years of civil war delayed Angola's development, of course, but Angolans have jumped stages. Today, one in every two inhabitants has a cell phone. One in every three houses has paid TV. In the next few years, the South Atlantic cable system will be ready, connecting Angola and Brazil by optical fiber. The stock exchange of Luanda will be launched and the new airport will be unveiled, one of the biggest in Africa, a hub to the whole continent. This is what Angola achieved in a little over a decade of peace. Imagine where it might go from here. Proudly, Angola.